Breakfast at Moms. I'm Mom, a.k.a. Sandra, and these are my daughters, Candice and Alyssa, and these are my daughters in love, Brooks and Felicia. And we want to welcome you to our online community of women where we meet every week to discuss the things that are in our lives that you go through and to just be a community of women. So this week we have Felicia and what are we talking about? So we are talking about something that I am in the season of learning. And okay. Mm-hmm. That is rest. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. Does anybody know what that means? Mm-hmm. No. Probably not. We, we, we probably think we have the uh, Hersey version of what yes. rest means yeah. from our captain at the top of this <laughs> ship. <laughs> and and we are sure that that is not at all what rest means. So, so what is it? Listen to some of these just statistics. So uh, rest oh. is like truly like yes. being refreshed, being able to do things in your mind, just be turned off. Okay. And Whoa. how you turn your mind off. I have no clue. But say, with ADHD, I don't think that happens. <laughs> yeah. So 60% of Americans feel too busy to enjoy life. 60. Wow. That is more than half. That's Parents with children under the age of 18, 74% say that they do not enjoy life. Wow. And researchers at the University of Pennsylvania found that nine-point hours of free time daily was the optimal amount. Okay. Who has time? Who has nine nine hours a day to be free unless you're sleeping? Is that when you sleep? Yeah. Just like rest in general, including sleep. So 9.8 hours, but they show, no, I'm sorry. That's just optimal amount of time. Like to, to just rest, like rest your minds. Well, there is a saying that if you sleep eight hours, you work eight hours. What are you doing with your other eight hours? Exactly. So average people, (laughs) One, Mark said, who works only eight hours? Oh, well, Brooks, Lord. We're learning we're, already. We're going to talk about that at another time, well, Brooks. Yeah. Listen to this. So if it's 9.5 hours, that is optimal time. Americans are only using 1.8 right now. Wow. And they're like, wow. realistically, like you're probably not going to be able to get to that 9.5, like with lives and children mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But they're saying, try to do at least more than that. Wow. So... It brings me to my first question. How do you define rest? (laughs) Well, we obviously have no idea. Yeah, Yeah, that's tough. I think rest is when you, I I always think of Candace, (laughs) relax, breathe. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I, when I think of rest, it is no electronics. Mm. Go and just sit and be st- and be st- and be still. Brooks rests by scrolling. Yeah, but, she said, you know, "Oh no!" But that's truly not rest for your mind. So for me, rest is rest for me is go outside in my garden. Oh, and, that sounds awful, <laughs> right? So oh, funny. Go outside, and, and you're doing and, like and, your mind is thinking about your garden. Yeah, you're thinking about watering the plants, and you're like, oh, is this... Well, I guess this really proves a point. Yeah. Is Mama Cisa going, Mama oh, you need more food, but you, Dad, you're not resting. Right? But do you feel refreshed that after when you question. come when back When I inside. need peace, I go outside, pick up okay, that water now, hose, now I get the and I start watering. When mm. I need peace in my life, when we had the second fire, I was like, I've got to go outside and water. And Trevor's like, you know, you have a sprinkler. I'm like, I don't care. You know, I have to go out. And that's when I realized this is my place of, of peace yeah. and happiness. So, so obviously we have peace in all our own ways. Yeah. Um, when I was closer to the beach, Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the beach was my peaceful yeah. place. Yeah, like true. I would go there, I would pray, I would get up early, like eight eight thirty, <laughs> early on the sink when I was back in the day when I didn't have this. Job. Early, I'm having lunch at eight thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Early for a single Early girl. We are Candace. learning how Early different all of us Early. are well, in this because podcast. because you went to bed much, much later. Yeah, Fleet like goes to bed at 7 p.m., I think. So oh. I would go out oh. back in the day. I lived right by the beach, so I would work. or And so I would go out to the beach. When you see the surfers out there, you see the lifeguards yeah. doing their morning runs because of their... And they would know me. I would just bring my... Well, I'll share the only one on the beach. It was peaceful. I see the people grading the, the sand. Yeah. And it's just so pretty because when you see the sun just coming up over the water and it's just peaceful and you can see what God made. It's just, yeah. that's where I, mm-hmm. even though sometimes my mind would obviously wonder, because I'm like, okay, after this, I have to go get shower and right, I have right, to right, right. work now and then do all this stuff at the time. Now my, it's totally different. I'm not by the beach anymore. So my peace time, I would say the garden, because I do enjoy my garden and I am learning a lot of stuff about vegetables and stuff. 
But I'm lately it's been like, is there a snake around here? And what bug is going to get me to say that is literally because I think the, the bugs took my piece from my garden. They <laughs> showed up and I was like, I, I'm scared to go yeah. out there. Your caterpillars are now in my front yard. I just want you to know. Oh, well, I'm speaking so sorry. of snakes, I have to tell you all this story. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. It is Do so we funny. have to talk so about snakes? There is my husband. He goes to the gym and one of the ladies at the gym has came in there twice now and is like, there is a snake in my kitchen. Like they keep finding oh, snakes my. in the kitchen. I would move. So <laughs> Trevor goes, are you burning the house down? <laughs> and so um, they get an expert to come and the guy like looks at the snakes, the snakes and stuff to see what it is. He's like, oh, these snakes aren't the type that like climb and stuff. Do you have a cat? And she's like, yeah. Oh, the cat is bringing the snakes inside. As gifts. How crazy. Could you imagine? Mm. Nope. Uh, so, <laughs> Flea said that cat will be gone. Ah, <laughs> uh, so, the cat's not going outside anymore. Yeah, again, I saw, now my peaceful is was the garden ish on the garden, but now I like I like baking. Mm-hmm. So I've been doing a lot of baking lately yeah. and making biscuits and stuff and trying out new recipes and what works and stuff. So I like that's why that kind of peace would make me fat. <laughs> <sighs> There I am. <laughs> I said me. It make, oh, you think it's just going to make me slip? <laughs> so I'm curious, Brooks, what is your definition of a piece? Well, I'm Scrolling. learning right now that um, I'm going to need to enter into the season of learning what <laughs> rest is. But I put down here that I, said, I actually wrote, I said, rest usually comes way too late. And it looks more like me just disconnecting. Exhaustion. Yeah, yeah. exhaustion. Yeah. So like I think about like last week. So we just ran right ran, ran, ran nonstop. And then I had the kids Friday night. Um, and then, so Saturday it was King and I, Brandon was at work. I literally did not get out of bed. Like I literally just took the day from, from 6 a.m. all the way till 6 p.m. And I stayed in my pajamas. I laid in the bed, just mindlessly did nothing. But that's probably because it was well overdue. Correct. Because and we're I not think that's implementing that mm-hmm. in every day. And yeah. then you're just out of sheer exhaustion. Mm-hmm. I have to do this yeah. now. Yeah. And, with, wild. and I mean, obviously, you know, with my uh, health and everything like and that's kind of just what happens it's like it's like just a light switch mm, yeah. yeah so yeah. so i don't know so you're gonna work on i guess i have to finding now. some rest we've now brought with this no up phone. and it'll now be in my <laughs> with brain no, with no phone just a little bit you know just work on one minute in the beginning oh, okay and then when you get one minute down cool, 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 cool. <laughs> like and when you go to reach for your phone no Mm-mm. oh I'm going to be still. I thought I got it. Is, is, it up, is it up yet? Am I done? Am I still thinking? Right. Do be like Bella. Bella. Set a timer. <laughs> exactly. yes. Set a timer. Kingston yeah. last night, he has to read 10 minutes a day for school, right? So he set the Alexa timer. So he's reading. He gets through one page. He's like, Alexa, how much more time left? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, my God. Alexa. And I was like, it, you still have eight minutes. Keep going. <laughs> <It's so laughs> but that would be me. <laughs> Yes. Right. The apple doesn't fall far. <laughs> right. So yeah. Funny. Yeah. And to be the assistant to dad, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I see you too when he's um, on the couch and you're over, he's over there telling you, I hear him. He's got his phone like this. Hello, Brooks. I'm like, why are you bothering her? I just need to tell her this right now. No, you can tell her tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. How do you rest? Uh, so it's changed for me over the years. I, I did start to find rest in my garden. That is a real thing. I was loving going out there. And it is a true story that when those caterpillars attacked my garden, ever since then, I'm like very weary going yeah. outside. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see if that continues or not. But right now, for me, resting is reading at night. I have fallen in love with a series of books that I that's all I want to do. So it is kind of that disconnect I think sometimes reading when you read like like Christian things or when you read stuff that's like helpful for you or even parenting books like your mind is just still thinking about your life trying to process it right so for me diving into just like a storyline I'm loving that is what I do every night right now and it is like it is my piece so yeah for me, I am learning a new rhythm. Like mm. my mind has just been like going like nonstop. And I'm like, I need something that just like silences me. I have a great book you could read. Oh, I've read that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Help. I'm Alone with My Mind. <laughs> and actually that was part of what kind of helped me to figure out. So I picked up running because, yes, you can't think when you're dying. <laughs> 
Into the shrooms. <laughs> <Just surviving. laughs> I should have pushed in my breathing. Ooh, uh, <laughs> no. But she no looks way. so cute doing it. Oh, thank you. No. Thank you. But it does like it's just one of those things where I get up in the morning before everybody else. And I did not realize until this morning when I was getting dressed, my daughter just I heard her little footsteps. And I'm like, what is she doing up already? She comes downstairs. Mommy, what are you doing? I'm like, mommy's got to go to the go run. And she, of course, I couldn't leave. So I was like, well, I'll just do like something in the garage. So I go in the garage and start like doing plotties in there. And Maddie's just like, mommy, what's this? Mommy's what's this? What's this? And I'm like, oh my gosh, running is my rest. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, that's fair. I have a friend like that. She has to get to, away. She has to run to start her day or she's just like, because if not, it just builds up. So much stuff is going on. I'm like, I need to mm-hmm. run in the morning. To, like, I wish release. I was one of those people who like to exercise to... Yeah. Yeah. Mom's <laughs> is drying out the air plants. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That is That's true. so funny. Okay. So we've talked about like some ways that we can rest. What are the negative things? Like what impacts us when we don't rest? Like your health. Yeah. Mm-hmm. you I think we are sicker as a as a, a nation because we do not rest. There's yeah. some maybe you know, Dylan could look it up. There's some um, Italian saying about being in rest. Like their thing is they don't work to live, you know, mm-hmm. or, or like we, you know, we live to work, you know, yeah. their, their whole thing is balance, mm-hmm. rest, enjoy time, enjoy family, sit down, take long to eat. You know, we're like rushing through our meals yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah. and 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 always having to go, go, go do the next, think about the next. And we really don't do that. I just, I think what I need to do is move to Italy for a year. Cool. And figure out how to be in this state of rest. I will do that a and very be back. Eat, pray, love, life. <laughs> that, that would be amazing. Oh, that would be. Did amazing. I just inspire? In Italy. And plant. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> eat. No, I feel like obviously does it. I think your attitude change like changes if you're not resting. Like mm-hmm. you just. You can be different towards people. Snappier. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm oh, snappy when I don't eat. I mean, come on. Me <laughs> I'm like, I'm snappy when I don't eat, but like, I definitely, I think your attitude towards people and just how you look at life, like, oh, who cares? You know, like, just, yeah. Yeah. you don't want to be like that. And I know you're internally don't want to be, you just, you're tired. Yeah. You're yeah. exhausted. No, I'm the same way. I start with a bad attitude. I can always tell that I'm tired when I'm snapping at my kids. Dale's irritating me. Like, I'm just like over it. And then I will continue to be extreme until I'm physically sick, until I'm throwing up or I have so much anxiety. And I know it's because I've not taken that time to just be by myself, decompress, like have that rest. And yeah, it'll, it'll put me all over the spectrum. Even if, even if mentally I'm like, okay, I'm going to the next thing physically, my body reacts the opposite way. And I just know that about As moms. Me. We do that, especially moms with children, small mm-hmm. children. We're constantly, I got to do for this one and this one and this one and the husband and the house and this and all that. When we don't take that time yeah. for ourselves and self-care, we've talked about that a lot this week, you mm-hmm. know, taking self-care yeah. of ourselves, that it is okay to just sit and, and, and do nothing to sit and chill or get your nails done or get your hair done or yeah. whatever it is that helps you to just be alone for a minute because we're so busy taking care of everybody else mm-hmm. that we don't take that time. And I wish I knew that when I was in y'all's shoes. Wow. That would have been great, but I didn't, you know, it was always, I had to take care of someone, 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 but I do take that back because remember Nana and I used to go on a vacation every summer with me and aunt Carol and and Nana, and we would go on a vacation and, it was yeah. great because we were gone for seven days. And, uh, and I dad just had to take care to, of us. Yeah. yeah. Girls trip comes back. Yeah. We're all yeah. like, wait a minute. Yeah, wait Maybe a minute. we all do need rest <laughs> at the Ritz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> day. Yeah, day. Or, or a cruise. I know. Or a cruise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. So usually rest when you need a vacation. I we get to that part. I think for me, it's like, I'm a multitasker to the nth degree. Mm-hmm. Like I multitask from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep and it's constant for a lot, a lot of people. And I can tell when I am overdone, when I get overwhelmed yeah. by my tasks, yeah. because I'm so used to multi it's, it's natural. Like it is yeah. something that I do very well, 
But like the moment that like I get overwhelmed and a simple task becomes just so frustrating mm-hmm. that I'm like, okay, hold on. Yeah. You know, that's when that's my like my like yeah. I know that something's happening at that moment. I think too it's tough because I have a similar personality and I know mm-hmm. a lot of us do just because of who our parents are, that there is something almost like tantalizing or like sexy about just having a lot on your plate. Like you're like doing the next task. Like Like, I don't know what it is about it where you're like, even this weekend we have a lot going on and I'm like, Oh, I'm going to go here and then have this meeting. And it's like almost like this, like, yeah, yeah, like this rush. You like to check it off. That's it's it's that it's it's that. And it's just like the, (laughs) like, I don't know what it is. It's like an exhilarating kind of feeling. And Mm -hmm. it's, it's different than seasons where it's, like there's not a lot to do those seasons drive me almost Mm -hmm. as crazy as seasons where there's a lot going on and I think it's almost dangerous for us Mm -hmm. because it becomes that like like I think about me in college my lord yeah yeah, I was taking 11 (laughs) classes a semester Mm -hmm. plus leadership plus working like there was I was had an 8 a.m. class and then I would start homework at 11 with a monster in my hand and be like, let's go and do the next day. I did that every single day for five years. Mm -hmm. Rough. But now I look back and I'm like, but there was something about not saying no. Like Mm -hmm. there was something about like, I can put it on my plate. I can handle it. We all need help. No, but the thing is, (laughs) is now looking back, I'm maybe a little bit older, a little bit wiser. I'm like, yeah, but there was years of that where I cried Every day in my car. Yeah. Oh, Every day. You oh, yeah. came home one year and said, I'm dropping out of college. And I'm like, um, no, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to scale back. Yeah. Because you're doing sure. too much. And then you had a professor. And come I was about to say, you. I had a phenomenal professor who took me on as a daughter and would call me out for that kind of stuff and right. teach me. He always talked about, which has to do with this, I think. He would talk about the parable of the talents. Mm-hmm. And I think I've talked about this on this podcast before where he would say, some people are not supposed to have five to sow five, some are just supposed to have one. Mm-hmm. And you need to be okay with just being a person who can have only one. And that to me, it was like hard to hear. And I was very angry with him for a while. Cause I'm like, Hey, you don't know my dad. I can have a million. Like I, I'm like ready to fight him. You can't stop me. But now as an adult, I look back at that moment and I remind myself of that all the time. I cannot do everything well. I can do a couple of things really well. But if I try to have a ton of things, I will fail at all of them equally. But I think you're right though. It falls in our family. I've had four to five jobs at one time. And I was like, are you eating food? I'm like, right. I'm going. I, I went to school, did the yeah. job at night, did another job. And then I did a half job here. I'm like, yeah, I just, I have we to We almost going. take mm-hmm. badges of honor mm-hmm. in busyness. Yes. Yeah. And 100%. Not, and and, 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 and that you. saying of you can do a lot of things, but you can't do a lot of things well. Yeah. And that is so true. This happened to me last week. So, I mean, obviously I work for dad and I'm his assistant and I have two notepads of to-do lists, mm-hmm. right? And a spreadsheet. And I had gotten through probably one of the lists and half of the other. And I was like, I was feeling pretty good about the day, right? So I'm walking through and I see Dale and he's got a staff. And I'm like, oh, what can I do for you to take it off of his desk? And I walk away now with another stack. Yeah. And I got to my desk and I said, I literally looked at the girl who was in the office and said, what did I just do? Yeah. <laughs> but like, I was so proud of myself walking away from his desk. Like I was able to help Dale. Because yeah. you felt you know, important. And like, right. And that's what it is. Think about how many times you watch an award show mm-hmm. or you, even if you've been a part of one and they're like, she does this and this and this, and she's the head of the PTA and mm-hmm. she's blah, blah, blah. And you're like, oh, well then in order for me to feel that good, I must put all of this stuff on our plate and something Trevor and I literally talked about this past week is him and I both have to unlearn things that have been deeply rooted into us. Yes. Not at fault for you and dad, because you taught us such great work ethic, but almost to a point of, well, that cannot be the standard of what life is. We've got to kind of unlearn those things and say, no, I need help. Hey, no, I need help with my kids. I I need, I need help with these tasks on my plate. Mm -hmm. I can't do all of them and not feel that tinge of shame behind Mm -hmm. it, but And I pray that you are the generation that changes this because all we were, were products of our generation. Exactly. Of, of, of our parents instilling in us, you go to work, you do this, mm-hmm. you put in the work, you do this, you go and you do, and that's all you knew. Yeah. And that was the definition of success where 
we think that our work our jobs yeah. define us yeah. and, say, and, and that's for, not the case at all. We are not our jobs yeah. or our businesses. We are husbands, wives, yep. sisters, aunts, uncles. You know, we are, we are more than our work, but we, a lot of America, we make it about our job is the most important thing and if our job is not good enough then we're not important enough mm. what we do is who we are exactly is essentially what some yeah. people yeah right. believe but i think too it's not just the aspect of success i think what like at least our generation like we were taught to be so independent mm-hmm. like that was like that was the thing it was like you grow up as you know you at first child first born like you miss independent like you don't need nobody else you're gonna get it done Mm -hmm. and I think that for me also plays a huge role and not just the work ethic that I was taught yeah and to be you know be the best at what you do and take on what you can and you know do all that but it's like also it's like no no you can't ask for help because you're you're gonna do it you know and I think and you're right I hope that we can change this (laughs) so that our kids don't have to it's almost like we've been taught that you're a burden if you ask for help, that mm-hmm. you have done something wrong or that you can't handle it. So you're less than someone right. who can handle it, or who can do it well. I know for me, sometimes listening to the older generation explain how they worked or they parented or whatever, mm-hmm. I will compare myself and be like, oh my gosh, well then why, why can't I? Like, why am I not doing mm-hmm. X amount? And I have to remind myself like, that's something I have to unlearn. Like that's right. not something that is healthy yeah, for me. Right. Exactly. So before we close out today, what are just some practical ways that we can rest that maybe we're not doing right now that we can help other people just be like. I think for everyone, we just honestly need to take a really good look at our life individually. We can't say I can't tell Brooks how to rest or Candace or any of you look at your life. Be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. Take an assessment and say, okay. Where am I just so busy? Where can we pull back? I know, and I went through this with the kids. They got to be in this. They got to do this. They go from this sport to this board to this board. They have to do this. They have to do this. And we continue to do that. There's nothing wrong. I think sports are, are and activities are great for children. Yeah. They teach you mm-hmm. how to win well, how to lose well. They teach you to, to do things well, but we can't put that on them too and expect that we got to go from this one to this one to this one, to this, that there's no downtime, mm-hmm. that there's no rest time, but I think it's really taking a look at ourselves and say, okay, what is one little change mm-hmm. that I can really make? Good. What can I do today? If it is a minute, if it is 10 minutes or 15 minutes, what can I do to grow to that point where I can take some time for myself and not feel guilty about it and not 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 feel like I have to always be on always be going, always be working. I like that. It reminds me of what we talked about on the way over here where you were saying at 830 at night. Yeah, yeah. So for me, I'm not a morning person. I wish Mm -hmm. that I was, Uh, but we are night owls. And so for Dale and I, we've kind of implemented over the last couple of weeks, like this all stop at 830, we're done. Like it doesn't matter if there's dishes that need to be cleaned. It doesn't matter if we didn't get done with the to-do list. The kids are in bed. They're safe and asleep. We're done for the day. And so then I can decide like, are we going to lay on the couch and watch a show? Am I going to go read my book? But at least for me, I don't have that guilt any longer of staying up to finish the house or whatever. And now it's nine, 10, 11 o'clock. I got to go to sleep. I got to start again. Like we're just going to be done with the day and nothing is earth shattering enough that cannot wait for the next day and allow him and I to just decompress for a couple hours. Yeah. I really like that. Very true. Very true. Anybody else? I'm All right. Good at it. <laughs> I don't know what you want. <laughs> well, we're all going to work on it yes. because we all we all have areas in our lives as th- to say, hey, I need to really 
reevaluate and do this a little bit different. So thanks for joining us this week. And we hope that you will come back and see us next week. And we want to know what are some things that, you know, you are thinking about. What are ways maybe you have great ideas that will help us to slow down and to rest. So we would love to hear about them. (laughs) Put them in the comments below. Go to our website if you want to just send us a private email. Um, Join us over on Instagram. And until next time, we hope that you have a restful, restful time in your week. All right. See you later.